Welcome back, beautiful people. Today, we are learning about adding and subtracting money. I am heart of a teacher 242. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's get started. Sam bought a cupcake for $1.50 and a juice for $2. How much money did Sam spend in all? Let's circle $1.50 and $2. We're going to add those two amounts together. Let's start from the back. Zero plus zero equals zero. Five plus zero equals five. Now don't forget to put the decimal point. One plus two equals Three, you're doing great. We must put in the money sign. Awesome job. So Sam spent $3.50. Sam gave the cashier a $5 bill to pay for his cupcake and juice. How much change did Sam receive? Before we begin, we need to remember these tips. Number one, know how much the items cost altogether. How much did Sam's items cost altogether? Do you remember? If you said $3.50, you are correct. Number two, know how much money he gave the cashier. How much money did Sam give the cashier? If you said $5, you are right. Now, let's subtract $5, take away $3.50. Let's start from the back. Zero take away zero equals zero. Now, zero take away five cannot happen. Remember, more on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more. All right. So let's go next door to the five. We're going to cross out the five and we will be left with four. Now, let's come over and put 10 at the top. Now we can subtract. 10 take away five equals five. Don't forget to put the decimal point. Awesome. Four take away three equals one. Put the money sign. So Sam got one dollar and fifty cents back in change. Let's move on. Tamika bought a pack of ice for $1.15 and a bottle of water for $1.43. How much money did Tamika spend in total? 
Let's circle $1.15 plus $1.43. We're going to add these two amounts together. Let's start from the back. 5 plus 3 equals 8. 1 plus 4 equals 5. Don't forget to put the decimal point. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Put in the money sign. So, Tamika spent $2.58. Wonderful. Let's move on. Tamika gave the cashier a $5 bill to pay for her items. How much change would she get back? Before we begin, let's remember the tips. Number one, know how much the items cost altogether. How much did Tamika's items cost altogether? If you said $2.58, you are correct. Number two, know how much money she gave to the cashier. How much money did Tamika give to the cashier? Did you say $5? You were right. Now, let's subtract. $5 take away $2.58. Let's start from the back. Zero take away eight cannot happen. Remember, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So we're going to go all the way down to the five. And we are going to cross out the five and we will be left with four. Now, we're coming over and we're going to write 10. But we don't stop there. Cross out the 10 and you are going to be left with nine. Now jump over and you are going to write 10. You got it. Now we can begin subtracting. 10 take away 8 equals 2. 9 take away 5 equals 4. Don't forget to put the decimal point. 4 take away 2 equals Two, put the money sign. So, Tamika will get back $2.42. You are doing great. Let's move on. Bobby bought a pack of gum for $1.70 and a bag of Skittles for $3.10. How much money did he spend all together? Let's circle $1.70 plus $3.10. We're going to add these two amounts together. Let's start from the back. Zero plus zero equals 
zero. Seven plus one equals eight. Don't forget to put the decimal point. One plus three equals four. Put the money sign. Excellent. Bobby gave the cashier a $5 bill to pay for his items. How much change will Bobby get back? Before we begin, let's look at the tips. Number one, know how much the items cost altogether. Do you remember how much Bobby's items cost altogether? If you said $4.80, you are correct. Number two, know how much money he gave the cashier. Do you recall how much money Bobby gave the cashier? That's right. He gave the cashier $5. Let's subtract. $5 take away $4.80. Let's start from the back. Zero take away zero equals zero. Awesome. Zero take away eight equals, that's right, it cannot happen. Remember, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So let's go over to the five. We're going to cross the five out and so we are left with four. Now, let's go over here and we are going to write 10. That's right. Now it's time to finish subtracting. 10 take away 8 equals... Mm-hmm, you got it. 2. 4 take away 4 equals... 0. But don't forget to put the decimal point. Now, let's put the money sign. So, Bobby will get back 20 cents because 0 0.20 is the same as saying 20 cents. Awesome job, everyone. See you again in the next video. If you're looking for awesome clip art, check out Cunningham's Artistry on Instagram. Bye guys.